Right, so let me do uh, maybe one or two more examples for you of factoring. Okay, these quadratics where the coefficient of the x squared term uh, is not one. Okay, a little bit harder. So let's try and factor these together again. I'm going to use the method I think most students use, and so I'll show you that most students who find factoring challenging, at least. Okay, and so again, we look for a common factor. I don't see any common factor between those three numbers since two of them are prime and one is not. So we know that this is going to factor into a product of binomials. At least at the moment, all of our function, uh, all of our quadratic trinomials uh, factor. All right, so uh, that's what I'm looking for. So I'm looking at 6x squared minus 11x minus 2. I circle the term in front of the x squared, multiply it to the constant in the back, and generate your new easier trinomial to factor, so minus 12. Okay, But bring the 6 down here. We threw it away. We can't get rid of it. We have to do something with it. And so now we factor the easier trinomial. And we get uh, factors of 12 that add to 11. Okay, somehow add to 11. So 12 times 1, negative 12 plus 1. So negative 12 times 1 is negative 12. Negative 12 plus 1 gives me negative 11. And so those are the two numbers I want to use. Okay, minus 12 plus 1. And then we threw away the 6 earlier, so I need to bring it back somehow. Bring the 6 back. And try and reduce what I have here. So x minus 12 over 6 is 2. That works. And then this fraction can't reduce. The 6 just gets brought to the front here. 6x plus 1. All right. And now we want to foil this to make sure it worked. So that would be uh, 6x squared uh, plus 1x minus 12x minus 2. And these two terms combine to give me minus 11x. So go check your uh, uh, original question. That worked, this worked, and that worked. Okay, And so that means the solution, again, not the scratch work, the solution is this right here. The factored form of that is x minus 2 and 6x plus 1. All right, that's the solution to the question. All right, uh, let's maybe try one more. Uh, this looks quite interesting. So uh, let's see how this works. Again, no common factor here. The numbers are a bit bigger. Seems quite intimidating. Uh, so this needs to factor into a product of binomials. Uh, again, bring down the question here. Minus 14. Circle this front number, multiply by the back. So I get c squared minus 33c minus 14 times 5. What does that give me? 70. Okay. And now I need to factor this into two binomials. Don't forget the 5. Bring it down. We have to do something with that. Okay. And so factors of 70 that give me negative uh, 33. So it seems like 35, negative 35 plus 2 might give me negative 33. That looks right. And negative 35 times 2 gives me 70. So that looks right. So C minus 35C plus 2. Then this 5 right here, uh, divide by 5, divide by 5. Okay, We have to use it. We dropped it. We have to bring it back. And so what I get now is C minus 7. That looks like it works. Uh, this can't reduce or anything happened there. So 5C plus 2. And there we go. And now you have to foil this. Now, you should be able to foil in your head at some point. Okay, So I'm going to foil mentally and not write everything down. So that's 5c squared plus 2c minus 35c minus 14. That's definitely correct. So c minus 7, 5c plus 2. That's the answer. Okay? I hope you can do it this fast and factoring is not a huge issue for you. All right, guys. I hope this helped.